Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Kaushiki Gupta and in today's video, I'll be sharing with you all how you can manage both an MHT CET. I gave MHT CET 2024 and I got a score of 97.59 percentile and in my boards, I got 88.6 percentage. Also, I had to break down my 120 marks because I know in the comment section, all were asking me 120 marks are kya breakdown hai. So in maths, I got a 60. In uh, chemistry, I got 45. Uh, and um, physics I got 20 so yes physics is my lowest and it was my weakest subject so I tried to score better in maths and chemistry and physics to bhai mujhe nahi hota, so I can't help it also a uh, lot of y'all were asking for my schedule let me know if y'all want a dedicated video on that but I'll tell y'all uh, out of seven days so six days my three days maths karti thi with chemistry and uh, other three days maths with physics and Sundays ko mock test, revision, or my physics ko do ghanta de ti to thi, but kaha pata kya output ho gaya, but thik hai. So let me start by explaining to you why even boards important and why you should study for it. Because I know a lot of you are thinking that if you should be focusing on MHT CT rather than boards, because that's how you're gonna get admissions. But firstly, even MHT CT has a criteria of 45% in boards. So it's mandatory to you for you to get either 45 percentage or above. If you want to go abroad, or uh, for your masters or even do an MBA abroad or even in India your boards percentage does matter so you should be studying for your boards as well as CET but again it's a personal choice if you really just want to get in a good college and uh, just be done with engineering and start working then you can uh, focus on MHT CET but I will highly recommend to you that studying for boards is actually going to be helpful in the future because you don't know uh, what the job market four years later are going to be so study for both to maintain a balance between boards and CET now if you have to be in either of the criteria ya to tumhara 80 or 85 percent ho gaya hai syllabus ya to aapka nahi hua syllabus 50 50 se bhi kam hua hai syllabus so if uh, tumhara syllabus ho gaya hai most of the things then I will highly recommend ki tum CET ke questions abhi practice karna shuru karo and especially maths do not skip maths like make sure tomorrow maths even if it's weak or strong you have to practice maths every day literally give like one or two hours of your day to maths and you will get the best of the best results i can say this because i'm not good at maths but i got a decent score is what i feel and if your syllabus is less like 50 percent say be come why then make sure you start covering your syllabus jitna bhi ho sakta hai. Abhi, i think december Try to get a target ki 15th or 20th December tak tumhara sara syllabus ho jai. And then later you can start with your MHT CET questions. Make sure all your concepts are clear now. Because uh, after boards when you start solving MHT CET questions, you will have to you know put in less time to revise all your concepts. Because you have studied it so well. So you will save your time safe kar, okay? And you can solve more questions and more mock tests and get a better score don't miss out on prelims uh, so if you either go to classes they will have prelims colleges may be prelims hote hai. and uh, tum apne dost ke colleges ke bhi prelim papers leke solve kar sakte ho also jo board ke pyqs are that too you should solve it but also solve pyqs as a whole like 2023 paper 2022 paper with a three hour timer because that will help you to firstly um, you know decode ki kaun sa question kya karna hai tumhe pehle aur the strategy you should be following to solve your paper and you will also so finish your paper in time which is very very important because especially maths and i think even chemistry these all papers mein kafi baar tumhara papers chhoot jata hai kyunki tumhare itne questions hi lambe ho jate hain also for boards i used a vardan book kyunki usme kaisa hai na topic wise question hai to wo bahut easy ho jata hai to analyze kyunki agar kuch repeat hua hai bar bar to you know you get that this question ye concept se repeat ho raha but again if you don't want to buy vardan book you can just you know get the printouts or a pdf copy of all uh, the board's PYQs that is easily available online. Do not miss out on subjects like IT or even psychology, economics. Because you have to time in this case. And your marks increase. So your overall percentage is increased in boards. And as you have to give your syllabus of boards, then you can give 1-2 hours a day to MHT CET ko de sakte ho, where you give 1 hour to maths and 1 hour to either chemistry or physics. Um, I think that will help you to boost your MHT CET score and as well as board score. Because I feel personally this year the level of MHT CET is going to increase. That's all for this video everyone. 
i hope you found this video helpful and if you all have any more questions or video ideas you can drop it down in the comment section below and keep studying